Alrighty, so good morning, and this is Thursday after our first class meeting. And I wanted to capture some of the things that we talked about and also place this uh, at least to where you could view, but not reply. And you can see here that each night, oh, it's up here, of the class, I will make attendance available at the beginning. If you're remote, you get 0.5. If you're there, you get 1. But I just want you to know I'm making the viewing of this video available and the content, but not replied, uh, not open for reply until that time. Okay, so we had a good class. We had a great discussion last night. Um, here's some of the decisions we've made is that each week we will hold a code review for the code code should be coding done for the coding done and the assigned Udemy sections. So for next week, right at the beginning of this class, what we'll do is we will go over eight through uh, 15. Okay, so we will talk about the code, answer questions, make sure we all have a good understanding of what that code's doing, and then any other questions that come up. As a matter of fact, that would probably be a great time too, as well, to talk about um, any questions that you may have from the code up that you did, which was the review of JavaScript. Okay, so that would be a good discussion to have on there. And then I've also said in here that I will hold my office hour each Wednesday night in BE 120. So I'll be in there starting next week. I'm just waiting for the final approval, but I'm pretty sure because it's just a lounge that actually has great uh, locations for just working uh, from a desk to just sitting, whichever works for you. And then I want to say this clear. Oh, actually, there is one other thing besides the fact that I want you to uh, not use VAR. And this was a great discuss discussion Jared brought up about, you know, maybe some of the older versions of Firefox are not compatible yet. Um, 44 and current Firefox is at 66. So when we're talking about Node.js, we don't have to worry about that because we're running on the server side and that code runs before it gets to the client side. But it's a good point. And the other thing is, and I'm going to note this here, is make sure you commit, and now I'm talking about the Udemy course, uh, after each lecture on the Udemy course, okay? Okay, that's something I meant to say last night and I forgot. So I'm going to put that in here and then somebody, I think it was Eric, yeah, Eric was asking me some additional resources. So I just put some links here, just kind of off the top of my head, spitballing it, which is a horrible saying. I can't believe I even said it. Um, but I just wanted you to know, um, A, you know, these are some of the things that we talked about. I thought most people, I know some of, some of you, this was a big jump this first week, uh, but it seems like most of you got it. And, and I do make a apology here because I should have been more careful when I wrote up the instructions here. And I know it can be a little confusing um, because I had you do an underscore when you did the repo names, but then uh, when we were working through this, and especially when you were looking here, um, in the previous semester, uh, I wanted you to set up a directory, uh, first the base directory here, and then uh, actually set up the folder called uh, Node.js course. And it can be confusing because in here, I actually, this is from the previous semester, um, which is where I used the, I think it's called JS Bootcamp, right? So, um, so anyway, just know that I, if you did set up that folder, get rid of it and be clear. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Here's what I want to see for the structure. And the other thing, and we could talk about this next week if you want, is that um, oh, I'm just trying to make my editor come in here uh, to the, fit this window. It's a really anal thing, but I like it to actually fit. Anyway. <laughs> So one thing, so, um, who was it? I think it was Ivan asked me about, and it's a really good point, is that I don't use branching. And, and the reason I don't is that when I taught this last time, Git was so new for, for a half of the class that I didn't want to throw more concepts. But branching is definitely something that the more you use Git, you will do. It's just that we're doing a lot of variety of data, our uh, directories. We could totally do branching, okay? Uh, and maybe we'll have a discussion about that uh, when we're together. I just thought about, so anyway, just apologies. And really, here, let me finish this concept before I jump on to my next one. Here's where I messed up, is this should have been lowercase, right? Um, and I think that maybe here, did I talk about it here? 
Oh, I think maybe when I did the write-up, I actually put it, this should have been, um, it's just a good practice to not, so it should be lowercase, dashes are fine, right? Um, but the thing I realize is that because I made, and some of you got this, and I should go look at um, those, and I think it was only minor ones that actually used a dash on the repo's name versus the um, underscore. So, you know, but I should have, and I will be more careful, my bad, uh, I will do that. But I think what I ended up doing here was I thought I had fixed it because I had fixed it here. I'm just looking in here. Oh, oh, I didn't. I thought I did. Okay, but either way, uh, so the thing we didn't talk about last night, and this is good to just understand, especially if you've installed, I'm just going to open a terminal real quick, uh, depending on, because I noticed somebody had a really old version. Any, uh, and I'm talking about Node.js, so if you do Node-V, I, en I ended up installing the latest version of the stable, and so if you're on anything eight and above, I think you're fine. But if you're anything eight and below, uh, I would definitely upgrade. Okay. Um, and you can just upgrade that. Um, now the course, the um, Udemy course where you did your first night, you needed to install that. So if you did that this week, you're fine. No need to worry about that. But if you had an older version and you didn't install it because you did maybe the node V and you saw that it was there, you might just want to think about that. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. What I'm going to work on, just to give you the heads up, right, so this is now available. You can't reply until that night. And what I'm going to do is actually now, uh, over today and when I can find some time, is actually do the code up for day three to remind me. Set up this uh, learn together for um, day three and then draft the requirements for the first uh, node app, but you already have some work towards this by just thinking about it And I am also going to refine my requirements because the more I've thought about it And really this is part of what I want you to do and this really will be what I leave you with today Which is I want you to give this some thought it does not and here's the deal It does not have to be a complex program. It does not right what I showed you what I'm doing is more complex than it needs to be But this is the thing. This is one of those classes and I'm gonna, you know, try to make this short, but this is one of those classes where you get to choose your the level of complexity that you want to tackle. And the reason I would suggest you, you push yourself, don't push yourself too hard, but push yourself is this is really where you learn. But, you know, start, if this is completely new to you, start simple or you just start with a concept of accepting something simple from a user input and processing that into some kind of meaningful data so keep that in mind i think i did a fairly good job of introducing this concept here but again we're only uh, as of next week uh, let's say one week, two weeks, three weeks, and then I will have more detail about the code reviews as well for how they're going to work. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon.